You know what takes up most energy? It's not your bell. Shall I tell you what it is? It's your concern. <laughs> It's your concern. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's amazing, really, if you could measure how much energy different activities take. Now, you know, people think running a marathon is difficult. It's, it's the concern about the past? No. About the present? No about the future. <laughs> I, I think you're the only one suffering from this difficult situation. <laughs> I, I think you're the only one suffering from this difficult situation. <laughs> <laughs> Worrying about the future. I don't know why people do it. You know, I just, I simply don't understand this. I get very confused, you know, when people think about the future because really, I mean, I know I say it and people say yes, 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 but somehow you repeat this. It's a total waste of time. Worrying about the future. I don't know why people do it. You know, I just, I simply don't understand this. I get very confused, you know, when people think about the future because really, I mean, I know I say it and people say yes, 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 but somehow you repeat this. It's a total waste of time. 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 Yes, 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 but some, but it's a total waste of time. logically think with intelligence that you never can know the future because that means you have already created the factors that create the future which are impossible from that limited space of worry if you understand what I'm saying yeah? so actually there are factors that you don't see but you know they remain unseen until you let go of that creation so that they can come be invited into the space where they create a reality that's totally different from anything that you thought <laughs> and so, you, you, usually what happens is you think, oh, it was interesting to think about all this, but it didn't happen. And if it did, you have a problem. You need to, <laughs> you need to transcend that limited space, no? So, why worry? What to do? Shall I tell you? Enjoy. Be happy. No, uh, not force, ha ha ha, but be happy. Every time a thought comes to your mind and what am I going to do? Say ha ha, I know that monkey. Do you know? Tomorrow, what's going to happen? It might rain again. And then with that drop of rain, you listen to the sound that normally you can't hear because you're too busy thinking, yeah? And it's a beautiful sound. Say, ha, ha, I know that monkey, yeah? And it's a beautiful sound. And in that moment, you know what happens? You realize you're the raindrop. It's blissful.
oneself to to be in control of everything. The sense of pride is very important. Very, very, very important. Very important. And you know, the ego is seen as the vicious and terrible thing that you have to destroy. Mm. Rather, for me, this sense of I has to be connected. Be connected. Connected. Sense of I has to be connected. Sense of I has to be connected. Where? Where? We're not individuals, on some level we're all connected, whether we see it or not. And quantum physics today speaks about this and makes it very obvious for scientists. It makes it very obvious. And in that moment, you know what happened? You realize you're the raindrop. It's blissful. Our essence, essence is experienced sometimes in dreams or visions or intuitions or deep meditations, realizations, and in love. Do you know when we fall deeply in love with someone and we lose this limited sense of individualism? Melts into a space of what I call heartful, expansive, uh, love. <laughs> this is the real I, and we know when we're there, that's the real I. Love. This is the real I, and we know when we're there, that's the real I. when you were laughing, what were you thinking? Nothing. <laughs> That's wonderful. No? It's a bit freeing, isn't it? Yeah. That's an interesting thing to do, no?